Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today, I'm gonna to share with you three easy and delicious braided recipes. First up, I'm sharing a breakfast version. This is really easy to throw together, but it looks really impressive. It's perfect for a gathering like Mother's Day. After that, I'm sharing a version that's great for lunch or for a quick dinner. And then finally, I'm also sharing a dessert version. I like to serve this one warm and it's really good if you can add some vanilla ice cream. Okay friends, before we get started, make sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you're a fan of easy but really cool looking recipes. Now let's get started. First up is my brunch version. For this I'm going to be using about six eggs, some sliced ham. Now you could use bacon or sausage, but I really like to use the ham because it's already cooked and that makes it so much easier. I'm also using lots of shredded cheddar cheese, some salt and pepper to taste. I'm going to add about a quarter cup of milk. I'm also using green onions. And I'm also going to use about a tablespoon of ranch powder. Now I know that sounds really strange, but basically with this you're adding onion powder, garlic powder, parsley. It really adds a lot of flavor to this dish. And of course I have my dough. To make these really easy, I'm using some store-bought crescent dough and I'm using the sheet so I don't actually have to pinch the triangles together. It saves a lot of time. Now if you'd like, you could definitely make your own dough or even use pizza dough. That also would work. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by chopping up my green onions so that they're all ready to go. And I also wanna prepare my eggs. I'm gonna crack all of them into a bowl, add my milk, my salt and pepper, and my ranch powder, and then whisk it up. Now if I was making this for me, I would also add a few drops of hot sauce, because I like mine spicy. Now I'm gonna set this aside and get my dough ready. To make this really easy to clean up, and also to make sure it doesn't stick, I'm going to use some parchment paper first. Then I'm going to open up my can of dough and roll it out. If there's any holes, go ahead and just pinch them back together. And now it's just as simple as creating some slits on either side of the dough. I like to keep the center plain because that's where we're gonna put all of our filling. And don't worry if all of your strips are exactly the same size. This recipe is very forgiving. In fact, it's really not a recipe, it's more just a method. And you can interchange any of these ingredients to make it your own. Now I'm gonna go ahead and scramble the eggs just like you normally would. And when they're almost done cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in all of my chopped up green onions. And then I'm gonna set this aside. And now we're ready to assemble it all. I'm going to start with my ham. This is a really good quality deli ham. I get this at Costco. And it's actually black forest ham, but you can use any ham you prefer. Next, I'm going to add my scrambled eggs, and I'm gonna pile as much on there as I can. After that, I'm going to top it with the cheese. And now it's time to braid it up. Now this really isn't braiding, it's more just crossing it over back and forth. I'm going to start at the far edge. I'm going to take the edge and sort of bring it up and around. Then I'm going to take the first two pieces and bend them downwards. Then all I have to do is alternate sides. Cross it over and cross this over and that over and then go all the way down. Now this dough is pretty sticky so it's already sticking to itself. But if you're using a pizza dough, you may need to press the dough together to get it to stay. Now on the other end, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna bring up the dough Fold the first two pieces down, and if these pieces are too long, you could definitely just trim them off, and then finish crossing it over. Next, I'm going to get this into my preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes, and you definitely wanna check this. Now, I like to serve it right out of the oven. I just slice it up, serve it with some fruit, and call it good. Now, 
Next up, I have a recipe that's great for lunch or dinner, and it's a play on a Philly cheesesteak. For this, I'm going to be using some good quality deli roast beef. Again, I get this at Costco, it's really very good. I'm also using the same sheet of crescent dough, just like I did with the first recipe. But of course, you can use any dough you prefer or even make your own. I'm also using some sliced provolone cheese, some garlic powder, some Italian herbs, some salt and pepper to taste. You're also gonna want some onion and some green bell pepper. And you really don't need a whole lot, probably just about a quarter of each of these. I'm gonna start just like I did with my first recipe by preparing the dough. And again, I like to use some parchment paper to make it easy to clean. This time, I'm actually gonna start by flavoring the dough itself. I'm gonna put a light sprinkling of garlic powder and a light sprinkling of Italian seasoning. That way the dough tastes great as well. Next, I'm going to add my roast beef, followed by plenty of provolone cheese, and then I'm gonna to top this with my green bell pepper and my onions. And these are really thinly sliced. That part is important because this is not gonna cook very long in the oven at all. You definitely want a thinner cut on these. You could even saute them first before you put them on, but I'm going for easy here. Today I'm just gonna do a light sprinkling of Italian seasoning and then get it into the oven. Again, you're gonna to wanna to cook this at 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now when this comes out of the oven, be prepared because your house is going to smell awesome. Last up we have the dessert version. This is a peaches and cream one to be exact. I'm going to start by draining my peaches. I want to get these as dry as possible. If you leave them really wet, it's going to make your dough wet and it's not going to turn out the best. For this recipe, I'm going to use my crescent dough. I'm also using one package of cream cheese, about a quarter to half a cup of granulated sugar, and that all depends on how sweet you like this. I'm also using a bit of vanilla, and a bit of cinnamon. Then I'm just going to mix this all up. I'm gonna set this aside and prepare my dough just like I did with the other recipes. Now all I have to do is add my cream cheese layer followed by my peaches. Next I'm gonna add one more sprinkling of cinnamon and then fold it up just like my other recipes. Before I stick this in the oven I'm gonna go ahead and add a sprinkling of granulated sugar. This is gonna give it a really crispy, shiny crust, almost like an old fashioned pie. Now I'm gonna get this into the oven again at 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes, is all it takes. Now once this comes out of the oven, I like to serve it warm, and if I have some vanilla ice cream, I definitely like to add that as well. Okay guys, there you have it. Let me know in the comments down below, out of all of these recipes, which one would you like to try the most? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.